Hi, I'm Dr. Meher Hamdule. If you are a patient or a relative of someone who is to have a cardiac surgery, then I understand that fear of anesthesia comes from the fact that the mind does not know anything about it. So the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of the anesthesia for the cardiac surgeries. In our institution, you will be admitted a day prior to surgery and you will be paid a visit by one of our team members from the anesthesia team for the pre-anesthesia checkup. You will be asked questions on your illness, any previous surgeries, medicines you are on or any allergies towards any medicines. You will be assessed clinically as also your airway and dentition. An informed consent will be taken after you are explained the procedure which we do in the operation theatre. On the day of surgery, an injection is given to allay your anxiety and you will be then shifted to the OT with oxygen mask on your face. In the OT, the ECG leads are put and then you are asked to lie down. What you are seeing this is an cannulation of the arterial, arterial line cannulation. So I have given local anesthesia before starting the procedure. Then we have done the cleaning and draping of the site with betadine and a green towel. And then what I have done is I have inserted a 20 gauge gel co inside the left radial artery, connected it to the transducer. And now we can see the direct online blood pressure of the patient bit to bit on the monitor. The anesthesia medicines are slowly injected through the central line and you will slowly go off to sleep. Then a tube will be placed in your throat of which you will not be aware of. This tube is connected to the anesthesia machine which will then blow the oxygen and anesthesia gas to keep you anesthetized. The surgeon begins the operation after which we will monitor your heart rate, blood pressure and other parameters including depth of anesthesia so that you are not aware of the surgical procedure all along. Your safety is our topmost priority. After the operation, you will then be shifted to the ICU when you are asleep and then connected to the ventilator until it is the right time to remove the breathing tube. It is usually 4 to 6 hours after the end of the operation. During and after operation, you will be given painkillers to keep you comfortable until your discharge. So I hope this video has helped you to gain some insight in the anesthesia part for heart surgeries. If you have any questions, please feel free to write to me in the comments. Thank you so much.